Abhijit, how was the game? Well, I was playing against a strong run master, Pavel Kotsur, and uh, well, he surprised me with his opening choice. He played uh, this D4, knight f6, c4, b6, and but anyway, I managed to get some slight edge after the opening, and uh, at some point I thought I was much better, but then I made a mistake with bishop into bishop takes knight, and after that it was just that equal. Maybe after some times I was, I was even slightly worse. But then um, during the time trouble, he started to play, you know, uh, uh, very substandard moves, and at some point, like I, was, I could, you know, re really press for a win, and uh, and in the end, like he just crumbled in the time pressure, and he gave up. Uh, I mean, he walked into the mating net. In the morning, in the, in the fifth round, you were having a winning position, but then what happened? You lost. Yeah, I mean the same thing happened to my opponent today. But uh, I mean, okay, life is a great level. Morning I was completely lost. I mean, completely winning, but I lost. And this today it was completely drawn, and I won. So yeah, overall I'm I'm happy. I mean, it's it's a relief that I managed to win at least one game today. So uh, well, I was playing against uh, a WFM from Iran. Her name was Dorsa Derakshani. Well, I was wide, and uh, initially I was a bit confused what to start with. So I mean, I, I, I as I did not prepare much. I mean, so I mean, I chose one of my pet lines, four knights, and then I turned it into scotch because I didn't want to do, do anything rash, as I didn't play a good game in the morning. Uh, so I mean, I wanted to keep it. I mean, a little slight edge for me, and just keep playing. And uh, as I expected, I mean. Most, I mean, most 2100s are not very much familiar with this setup with black. And uh, I mean, she started playing quite rash after some point. Uh, I think b uh, rook b6 and rook b4 were very good moves. But uh, maybe she should have played uh, bishop g3 when she played knight e4. And after queen g3, maybe try for knight h5 and maybe queen h4, rook f4. I mean, it's quite nice. But after knight e4 and I mean it was it was already I mean I started to like my position after knight e4 and after when she played uh, put the rook on a4 and started uh, playing bishop h3 and stuff I mean then this position was already lost I think because rook e3 was a very nice move. Thank you. Ravi, you just won your sixth round game. Can you tell us more about this game? Yeah, I played against uh, Pratyusha, my statement. Uh, it was a very exciting game. I somehow capitalized uh, the advantage obtained in the opening and I maintained the advantage and went to end game and I got material advantage. That's um, I was actually in a pretty awkward position. Um, he had a decent attack, but uh, he wasn't able to convert. So I was able to kind of stabilize the position, and um, then I was able to launch a counterattack, and then after that he kind of collapsed. So it worked out for me. So how tough is uh, the tournament? Uh, it's really tough. I mean, this is my first time in Dubai. It's a great tournament. Uh, I'm really glad. I've been wanting to come to this tournament for a few years, but uh, I never had the chance, but this year it worked out. It's a really good tournament. Thank you. Mehdi, you have been Chief Arbiter at Dubai Open for a number of years. What is the main job of Chief Arbiter in such a strong tournament? You know, uh, arbiters in chess feel different from uh, referee from football and others, you know. Okay, my main my main job actually, uh, you know, this is event, this international event uh, considered for the titles uh, and uh, very high grandmaster level participate in this event. So uh, we must prepare good arbiters for this event before it starts. So my job was to, first of all, uh, nominate some arbiters and uh, sit with them and give some something like refresh their mind by update the feed the laws of chase and uh, uh, t before we start the game they must know everything in the, about the laws of chase and I uh, do not make any mistakes during the game don't take wrong decisions so okay my job was to give to guide these people to give them my structure about the, the game I give some advice how to deal with the players we have different type of players different type of mentality 
uh, we have from Indian, from Asia, from Arab, from, from different countries. So how we can deal with this all type or different nationality? We have 39 nationalities in this event. So just I was giving my, inf my, my, uh, my idea and uh, I give him some, uh, you can say some structure or procedure to do during the game and at the same time uh, to control this arbiter to offer also check behind them if they're the scoring uh, well no mistake in the sc uh, score sheet and no no mistake for decision also so uh, a lot of things but, but uh, uh, at the end i am one member of the arbiter so, but uh, as, as a procedure must be chief arbiter deputy chief arbiter and other this is the procedure at any event, but at the end we are working as one team.